At that point in time, there was an influx of baby groupies. And I mean babies. They were 13 and 14. And I was already the grand old age of 21. Boy, the guys wanted these baby girls. That was the next step for these guys. So Jimmy got involved with a young girl named Lori. I first heard Led Zeppelin in 1973, and obviously it was Stairway to Heaven. I became an immediate fan and fell in love with the band from day one, and never had any aspirations of meeting Jimmy or wanting to meet them or anything like that. At that particular time, I was a teen model, and so that's how I met Jimmy, actually, because he'd seen my photograph and wanted to meet me. What happened was, is I guess Led Zeppelin came to town and had seen all these photos and Jimmy had made a call to Lee Childer saying, I want to meet Lori Maddox. So next thing you know, we were taking a drive down to the Hyatt house to go meet the band and I was terrified because, first of all, I was still, ver I mean, I was a baby. I mean, come on, I was, a and this was Led Zeppelin. She was 14 or not quite 14. And he just was intrigued with it. You know, we, our head thing had run its course in his mind. <laughs> so, not in mine, of course. And so one day, they were in town, we, we hooked up, we got together, I was at the whiskey with him, and he left with this girl. I just had this really wonderful, like, you know, calm demeanor about him. Something very mysterious and always kind and sweet. I don't know how to explain him. I, He's the, when you do meet him and when you do get to know him, he's, you just immediately fall in love with him because he's so sweet. I used to stand on the side of the stage and just be in awe and say, why me, you know? Well, he's playing in front of 30,000 people at the forum and there I am standing there and, you know, he's playing. It was, it was the most beautiful thing ever. 